I'm going to show you how to make a rotating display like this one. All right, I'm not suggesting that this is the way you have to do it or you should do it, just this is a way that you can do it. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to assume that you know how to get an LCD to work. If you don't, in the description will be a wiring diagram and a bit some information from a website that I've prov I'll provide you that's easy. Alright, now let's get into the code. Alright, so you can see for the crystal display I've got straight up I've got the, the library, I've got the pins designation, alright, and now I've got this thing outside the setup called float loops. Alright, remember that. Now in the setup I start my display as normal as anyone would in any any um, sort of project you've got. Now in the loop, this is where I get the rotating display going, I count loops. So what I'm doing is I'm counting every time the loop goes around. And if it reaches a certain number, you know, it'll trigger. So if the loops equals equals 12,000, it'll display this one. If it equals 27,000, it'll display this one. 42,000, it'll display this one, and so on. So then if you go all the way to the end, you can see loops equals loops plus one. And in the last one that I've got displayed, so the highest number, I'll reset it. It's that simple. That's it. If this helped you, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If not, I've got some more videos coming out soon. This was just a quick one I wanted to get out because it's something that I was just needed to do. And I thought I'd just show you.